All right. So this time we're going to do something fun. There's going to be a lot of time skips here. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at something. So we're going to take a workflow that you can find on Civit, and then we're going to take a look at how you can load it in and what you have to do. Basically custom nodes that might be missing, models that might be missing. So the first step is to download the workflow. Next step is to open up your comfy. Okay, so then what we want to do is we want to drag the workflow in. So you'll notice that it's a zip file and that should give us an image. Drag that in. Okay, and so what's it telling me? It's telling me I'm missing mute, I'm missing fast actions, and I'm missing image save. Now, RG3 is actually on there, but it's just not enabled. So let me go to manager and go to install custom nodes, missing custom nodes. Uh, now that's a problem because Wasquatch is actually not working at the moment. So we're going to try updating it and see if that helps. Um, we've also got RG3 disabled. So let's enable that and try update on both of them. Okay, so once you've done that, it's going to tell you to restart. So we're going to close, close, forget about this for a minute. Oh, look at that. A lot of red squares. So look at that. Look at that. That's impressive. We're going to go back to our control uh, terminal. Just going to control C, press Y, and then start back. Oh dear, was node still doesn't work. Right, this is going to be interesting then. So we'll come back here, hit refresh, and it might forget the workflow because we haven't actually used it yet. No, it's good. So image save is what it wants. So let's just have a look and see because we might be able to just replace this with a different image save node. So currently it looks like it's just dragging an image. So let's just try making a normal save node. Now there might be something tricky to this save node. Everything's now green. So the first thing I want to do is check the model situation because I bet you it's a bunch of stuff I don't have. I don't have this video. So I'd have to choose my own video, which means I might have to change. See, so it would it make sense for me to say, you know, find a video of the same dimensions or just crop one quickly because um, there might be other adjustments you might have to keep in mind if you're just going to change. You know what I mean? Anyway, we'll keep going. So it looks like the control net stuff is disabled at the moment, so I don't need to worry about that. But I will note that it says V11P SD15 canny. Now, if I don't have that, when I click this, that'll go away and it'll just be the first thing in the list. So it's always a good idea to make a note of what these are, all right? Because you might not actually have them. I should have them, but. Uh, uh, I'm not exactly sure if I've got all of all of the SD15s because I didn't. I don't. I don't work with SD15 very much. But it's, it says here line art control net, soft edge control net. So you could probably find the closest thing to that, and then your results may vary. So what else have we got? We've got the Laura zoom in. Laura zoom in. See, this is why you kind of end up having to have. Um, 1.5 because the ecosystem is just more fully matured whenever you're using 2.1 or sdxl these sorts of motion lauras i don't think exist uh, certainly not for something like cascade that doesn't even that doesn't need, i don't think that even has depth support yet so also do we actually have this vae if i select on the list nope i don't so and sometimes if you're not careful you can lose what was there so, for example, this one, I, I don't have it, Isabelia. I don't have that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have it. So there's a lot of stuff that I don't have. Uh, Read Laura, Retro Anime. See, don't have it. Might be able to find it on Civit. Might be able to find it with the model loader. There are custom nodes that interface with Civit, I think. Anyway. If I just keep going, because what we need to do is we basically need to read through and see what everything it's doing. So like, for example, it uses V3 SD15 animate diff, right? Don't know why it's bracket two. That's probably just because he's got a copy or had copied it. So we might have to get that. 
Uh, this is more about how you sh you could go about getting it running more than actually running it and seeing what the results are, just so you know. Because sometimes this sort of thing can seem a little bit daunting, but the reality is you don't actually have to change a lot. Like, for example, here, that's hidden away. If you didn't know to open that up, you wouldn't know that you needed this, for example. Um, same with the clip vision. SD 1.5 PyTorch model. See, I don't know. You might have a lot of PyTorch model dot bins. So often the best way to... Uh, oh, well, we'll get there. We'll get there. I don't want to get ahead of myself. So then we come to IP adapter. So what, what I'm trying to do is really show this. Like, I mean, if you've done this, you know. But there are a lot of things that are going into allowing this to actually happen. So, for example, optional IP adapter reference images. I've noticed this is a different video and it says alpha. So does that mean we have to prepare a video of just alpha? These sorts of things can be unclear when you download workflows. But that's why it's important to look at what it's actually doing first. Because you might decide that this is just too complicated because you've got to prepare too many assets but uh it's worth it if you've got the system to run these to learn how they work and then collect some assets to work with them because uh it's a lot of it's a lot of models i mean we've probably been through about 10 and they just keep going so now we've got it's the same i think it's the same soft edge but um it, this time it's going into control net for upscaling. Uh, so he's upscaling the actual control net reference. And then we actually have a K sampler. <laughs> uh, it's going to do a whole bunch of other stuff. Reactors turned off, so it does have face swap support. And there's another face swap. I guess with lower reference, lower, lower, low res reference. A reactor toggle. I don't know. I, I've not used these. Sometimes people put buttons in. See, we'll, we'll go and read the description in a minute. I bet it'll actually be like step one, step two. Well, I hope so. So then we get a low res output and then it's going to start doing the high res versions. Upscale outputs. I've got it on a save there. See, it probably was a video save node from Woz, some kind of combined save. I've seen nodes like that, face swap on off. I'm guessing that what they do is turn things on and off. I'm guessing that's what they do. There's like the depth is turned off, the QR monster thing is turned off. It's got line art on and soft edge on. Doing a bunch of IP adapter. So there's IP adapter, there's animate diff, there's control net. There's canny, uh, no, not canny. There's Laura motion, motion Laura's. There's a, there's a quite a lot going on here. So, okay. So did it come with a description? No. There's also a custom checkpoint, which I've never seen. Custom VAE. I think I've seen that before. Mine's probably just renamed. If we go over to the video, to the, the, the page, this is done by JBoog X creative. Looks pretty awesome. Um, he's put a walkthrough video together, so I'm not going to cramp his style. I'll put a link in the description. And like I said, his, his I'm not going to bother. Yeah, yeah, he'll do it better. He'll, he'll do a better justice explaining how to make it work. What I wanted to do was show you how I would approach any workflow, whether I got it from Civit, OpenAI workflow, uh, sorry, OpenArt workflows, or uh, Comfy workflows. Um, any of those sites that um, I've put workflows up on um, in the past, if you download them, it can be a little bit overwhelming, like I said. But if you just sort of read, just take a second to read through what it actually does, um, and you'll be able to make a note. I would make, I would, I would, you know, if you don't have the model, I'd write a shopping list out. Um, before we actually have to do any work, it's always a good idea to just hit manager, go to install models, because you might find, we're going to have to go full screen. You might find that it's actually already here or it's in the list. And sometimes jotting down 
you know, just a list of names can be good to search in here first. So before you have to do any real legwork, you might find that um, most, if not all, of the models you're looking for are actually here. Like, for example, look, we can actually get all of our Cascade uh, models, which we've looked at recently. And then we've got all of our SDXL Turbo, in painting, Lightning Lauras, we're going to be looking at them soon. Um, pretty nifty. I guess it's like LCM for XDXL, but even better because we've got LCM Laura here, see. I guess it just has more parameters. I've not had the chance to read the spec, but I like the SDXL Lightning Laura. Anyway, back on to the task. If you just keep looking down here, I wouldn't be surprised if the motion Lauras are in here somewhere. I know that the IP adapters and the control nets um, all the stuff that you would want for the 1.5 version. They're all down here for sure. Okay. All right. So that's in the install models section. So the only thing that's left then is to research what models were used. And I don't doubt that that's explained here. Okay. Um, it's nice. So yeah, shout out to JBoogX Creative. Uh, very cool workflow. Um, but it was a good example because it's quite complicated. Um, a lot of the workflows I make are like basic. And what I try to do is teach you how to change things yourself. Like now, that's why I have to say with that caveat here, that might have just broken everything. <laughs> because I know that Woznodes has some special save nodes and it might be that it had settings inside it which were like doing something clever with the result. So got to keep that in mind. Um, we'll look at how you fix broken nodes another time. Because to be honest, at the moment, it seems to be something to do with my installation. So it's worthy of its own video. I'm not going to go on uh, any further. So that was pretty much all I had. Yeah, this sort of thing where it just doesn't want to work, it's a good excuse to start a new installation. So I'm probably going to cover that in the next video. So we've got a bit of a rapid succession of content coming out, uh, mainly because I move when, we, when I need to, uh, but also because I want to get a couple more shorts out and uh, we had to actually, you know, we've got a few more things to look at basically. So thanks again. I'll see you next time.